Hello friends, this is Drama Buzz, and today we are going to talk about Chinese BL dramas. Yeah, you heard it right. There are not that much BL out of China, but the number seems to be increasing. Even though Chinese director write these love stories as romance, you can still feel the love and chemistry between the actors and the story. But Chinese BL dramas have become more prevalent in China, and people want more. Even the international fans love these dramas so much. Here we will talk about some of the most exciting relationship in BL that will keep you interested until the show's end. Hope that you watch all of them and if I missed some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video please like subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now I won't bother you guys more so let's get started. Every moment that I think of you. In the hot summer of 2019, 18-year-old Chen Ji Hao and Yang Yu Hang met. Chen Ji Hao, the bottom of the class, accidentally discovered that Yang Yu Hang, who is handsome and top of his class, is his secret pen pill for the past two years. After the chance encounter, the two of them talked about everything and their relationship became closer than ever. But with the looming college exams, how will they go on from here? This series is so unremarkable and unforgettable. The quality is good with a cliché plot, but the actors are charismatic, charming and likeable. They each offered something that the other one lacked, a beautiful picture of completion when they were together. I really like this mini high school series. It was very sweet. Blue Canvas of Youthful Days Shi Lu, who comes from a family of artists, was forced to learn painting from a young age under his father's controlling influence. In his senior year of high school, due to misunderstanding, he decides to study in Liu Mingyang's studio. There he meets Chen Chao, a village boy living in the city and a talented painter burdened by family's responsibility. Chen Chao turns out to be the online artist Lan, whom Shi Lu has been searching for. Feeling guilty towards Lan, Shi Lu struggles to muster the courage to confess his secret to the seemingly irritable Chin Shao. Instead, he approaches Chin Shao with the hope of becoming friends. As they break the ice and grow closer, Chi Lu becomes increasingly moved by Chin Shao's resilience and starts to have different expectations from their relationship. Avoiding censorship by airing this as a web series outside of China, we finally have a real Chinese bail. Starting off strong, they aired the first four episodes together and I loved it. Of course the censorship got to the series, but miracles exist. I am so happy that I can finally watch the series again. Hopefully it's not censored and I really hope that it gets completed this time. Summer Love Letter the school bully met the top student and mistakenly thought that the love letter that the top student handed over to other was for him. So he started to stick to the top student in various ways. And at the same time, the top student in the school also helped the school bully to study hard and get into college, the two-way rush caused by misunderstanding. If you want to watch this series, you can absolutely watch it on TikTok, YouTube and Bilibili because this is a mini series with just 1 minute per episode so finding episodes of this series in sequence is a task in itself. But if you are willing to do it, you will enjoy it. Love Ever After on the night of the Chinese ghost festival, Dong Xian controlled Xiao Ning's body through the mask to help him face himself bravely and completed a homosexual confession. It also awakened Yunnan's awareness of his likes and dislikes. Beautiful adaptation of a historical story of a greatly misunderstood emperor in a time when homosexuality was illegal. The costumes, set, lightning, atmosphere and music was perfect. And it was a student project, just wow. It was better than my expectation and I want you guys to watch it. Customized Companion 
The love story between two guys in a long-term relationship has faded and each look outside the relationship to a phone app that summons the customized virtual companion, hoping to find what they have lost between each other. Damn, I've always felt this, but the Chinese PL have the highest caliber of plot lines and their execution. It's beautifully done and has hidden meanings too. It's really such a waste though because of the strict Chinese laws today against this genre. It's so disappointing. To imagine the kind of story we could have had from them, I like this movie. My Esports Genius Brother Jiang Yi Feng is a handsome eSport player with no taste, sense of touch and can't see the color. Lu Lin is a famous idol currently admired by many fans. Jiang Yi Feng posts a bad comment about him on social media when he thinks his sister is too distracted by Lu Lin and not focused on her studies. This result in the two having bad impressions of each other and facing off. Now finally getting the chance to meet for the first time, hearts begin to race, especially when Jiang Yi Feng's senses are finally stimulated. A strangely cute and magical BL. This had so much potential, story was interesting, actors were great, but with so many scenes that were cut in the middle, it was hard to keep track of what was going on. I liked it though. It reminded me of how much I have missed Chinese BL and how many great stories we'll never get to see because of the censorship. Swinging Blossom Gu Shijun, an elderly man who often dreamt about a boy who was his past romantic interest, after moving in with his brother's family, he decided to help his nephew Gu Jia in achieving his wish to attend an opening reception hosted by Ma Mingjin, a popular designer Gu Jia greatly admires. Upon reaching the office of Ma Mingjin's company, Shi Jun was stunned to see that Mingjin looked exactly like the boy he knew during his younger times. Now this is what I call a highly watchable movie with a beautiful crafted plot and a commendable cast. I enjoyed the story because it is really original one. I am highly recommending this movie, especially for older audience. If I could review this movie with one sentence, it would be bittersweet love story, family story and the story about the effect of making wrong and right choices. I really like this movie. Advanced Bravely Jaya was born rich with renowned ancestry. Once a player, he has turned over a new leaf. Yuan Zhong is a former special forces soldier who upon discharge formed a company training bodyguards. When his little sister Yuan Rao falls for Jiayao's charm, she is unsuccessful in breaking down his walls. So she approaches Yuan Zhong for some brotherly assistant. Will having these two men cross paths get the result Yuan Ru wants? The drama itself is amazing, so are the actors and the characters. The series exists in two formats, a cut version and an uncut version. Even the uncut version still had to comply with Chinese restrictions and so does not show the full BL scenes. No official international subtitle released currently exists of the uncut version. The official release on Wiki is the cut version. The uncut version can still be watched on Bilibili or Dailymotion. Third Country not wanting to face the death of his father, Lin Xingyu, alone in Lijiang, unexpectedly lost valid and was hired to be a school teacher for the Nazi people. Feeling developed between him and Aaron, a local who supports Lin Xingyu. When the two open their hearts, they exchange keepsakes. But when these feelings of what the Nazi find unacceptable occurred in the remote mountains of ethnic minorities, what choice will Aaron make between tradition and love? There was a whole lot I liked about this tale of a man going to Yunnan to try and find himself and of course finding love. The visual mood and beautiful scenery makes this memorable, but then you can't really have both internal and external conflicts with such a short runtime and resolve everything in a satisfying way. I didn't even expect such a visceral film and instead of singing praises here, I am actually sorry that this country where there is an absolute huge potential in terms of human, culture, religion and population is suffocated by the lid of sensors and regulations. Still I admire that they have made this. I loved this. 
a round trip to love. Lu Feng and Xiao Chen are two university students who fall madly in love with each other. However, when their families discover them, they oppose and try to separate them. Lu Feng's father sent his son to Hong Kong, while Xiao Chen must face the prejudice and isolations he suffered in college because of his sexuality. Several years later, both young people meet again, but this time in a company as boss and employee. Both discover that they still feel love for each other and become lovers, but happiness evades them again. Their relationship soon becomes a disease. When I first saw this movie, I did not know anything about it. After it was done, I loved it. The actors have a passion in their eyes making me truly believe in their emotions. I admit there are some clichés. It also drove me crazy how the characters would get into these little fights when all they had to do was talk it out. Despite this, I was able to melt into the joy of their reunions and that made it worth it. I would highly recommend this for the romance chaser who enjoys a little bit of angsty on the side but not for those who are looking for super dramatic plot. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again, if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. I will make another video for it. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.